breadsticks. We all love them, and not everybody realizes how easy they are to make. So stop buying that junk from the grocery store and let me show you how to make breadsticks from scratch. All right, so in a large mixing bowl, you're gonna start with two teaspoons of sugar, a quarter cup of warm or room temperature water, and one teaspoon of dry active yeast. And you're just gonna let that sit for about five minutes, and this is called blooming the yeast. Blooming the yeast, really all it is is basically just making sure that your yeast is still alive and active. Um, the worst possible scenario would be to be making bread and realize, uh oh, you know, the, the bread's not rising. So what this does is it's, you know, it's just going to feed off of the sugar. Um, it takes about five minutes. And once you see bubbling, you see some movement in there, that's how you know it's, it's alive. So you'll go ahead and add in one cup of warm water and about, I think I did about an eighth of a cup probably here of extra virgin olive oil. And then we'll start with two and a half cups of, I'm um, using bread flour, but you can use um, all purpose flour if you'd like. And one teaspoon of salt. Once you've got all of that in, uh, I've just got it in a stand mixer with a dough hook. Um, you, If you have one, then you know I definitely recommend using it. If not, then you can obviously mix this by hand or you can use maybe a rubber spatula or something. I put it on a low, uh, a two speed. Uh, and then I just let it go for about five to ten minutes. You just want to make sure that everything incorporates, everything pulls off of the sides of the bowl, and you'll start to see a dough ball forming, and uh, that's pretty much what exactly what you want. After about five minutes, we'll shut it off, and you can check it by poking it, and if it bounces back, that's how you know it's ready to go. All right, so once your dough is ready, you're going to go ahead and lightly dust a clean work surface with some flour and then just remove your dough from the hook or from the bowl onto the surface. All right, and so now you're gonna start kneading that just to kind of help form it into the shape that we want, which I usually just like to try and get it round, uh, as round as possible. And um, the method I'm using here right now, as you can kind of see, it was just kind of a, a using the using your hands to kind of pull under the under the dough as you rotate it and that kind of helps form a, a really nice uh, round ball shape. Once you've done that, then you're gonna go ahead and start rolling it out with a rolling pin. If you wanna stretch it by hand, you can. I just think it's a lot easier to use a rolling pin. So if you have one, then you know <laughs> I, would, I would go that route, definitely. Um, and we're gonna be putting this into a nine by 13, uh, nine by 13 pan, so you wanna make sure that it's stretched out to about that size. Here we go, nine by 13 pan. I'm using a Pyrex, which is, um, if you have one, uh, I feel like this works great. If not, you can definitely use like a nonstick uh, aluminum pan or whatever you have. And you're just gonna uh, lightly oil that with some olive oil, or I guess heavily oil it <laughs> with some olive oil. Just make sure you kind of get that spread around. And you're just gonna drop your dough straight in. And it's not gonna be perfect, um, and that's completely fine, because what we're gonna do is once you get it in the pan, you're gonna kind of level it out a little bit and then just wrap it and cover it. Um, and you're just gonna let it sit on the counter for about, I think I did an hour and a half and it came out really good. You just wanna let it give time to rise. Um, it creates a lot of air pockets and, and bubbles. It's gonna make a really, really, a really nice, fluffy, uh, good breadstick. All right, so now we're gonna make the breadstick dipping sauce. and. I urge you to try and say that three times fast. It's <laughs> anyways, uh, we'll start with one can of tomato sauce and make sure you get all that out of there and two tablespoons of dried oregano. And the oregano is really going to be the main flavor th in here. Um, and then we'll do half a tablespoon of sugar and then a teaspoon of black pepper and a tablespoon of dried basil and a half a teaspoon of salt. Once you've got that all in, you're just going to give it a mix. Uh, over a medium high heat until it starts to come to a, a light simmer and the sauce is kind of thick so it's more of like a bubbling uh, and you'll see here and it's just be careful when you're mixing that because it will splash and if it splashes on you it is not fun uh, so once you've got it bubbling like that then you can go ahead and remove it from the heat Next up is gonna be the Parmesan garlic toppings. We'll start with a quarter cup of Parmesan uh, a teaspoon of dried oregano, a teaspoon of dried basil, a half a teaspoon of garlic powder, 
and a half a teaspoon of onion powder and a half a teaspoon of black pepper. Simple enough. Once you've got all that, just take your clean hand and give it a mix. All right, and after an hour and a half on the counter, uh, the dough, as you can see, has doubled in size. So we're just gonna go ahead and start cutting, uh, cutting it into the breadsticks. Um, I'm using a bench scraper here. If you wanna use you know, a butter knife or something, you can. Uh, I just think this is a little easier. You can kind of cover more, cover more surface area with the bench scraper. All right, so once you've got that all cut down, you're gonna go ahead and spray it with, I'm just using like a nonstick uh, butter flavored spray. And we're gonna pop it into a 475 degree oven. After 10 minutes, you're gonna go ahead and carefully remove the breadsticks from the oven and set them on top of the stove. And once you've done that, go ahead and give them another coating of the butter spray and then we'll start with the topping and you want to make sure do a pretty heavy uh pretty heavy coating of this because you know who who wants an under seasoned breadstick not me <laughs> once you've done that you'll go ahead and put it back into the oven and at this point they're pretty much already done you just want to get that you know get that topping to kind of stick stick onto them so uh, i'd say about another five minutes And that's it. You're just gonna go ahead and remove them from the pan, and place. I place them on a, a wire cooling rack, and that's just gonna keep them nice and crispy on the bottom, as a you know, so that they don't get soggy. And just take a look at that. I mean, it came out really, really good. Um, so you just serve them with the pizza dipping sauce, and that's it. So there we have it. Breadsticks. Really easy to make really delicious. You might not want to eat this as a meal, I understand that, so check out my other video on how to make pick pack. It's a really delicious pasta, it's really simple and really easy and it would go perfect with these um, breadsticks. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, make sure you hit that subscribe button, and comment down below and let me know what other recipes you guys want to see. Thanks.